I started my YouTube channel in 2020, April 2020, and the last video that I uploaded was April 2021, so whole one year. Thank you so much for those of you that have been supporting my channel. It means the world to me. Now, I wanted to tell you, firstly, I wanted to apologize. I think I owe you an apology. It's been a year and a few months that I haven't posted. And second of all, I wanted to tell you the direction of the channel going forward. So much has happened in my life, so much has happened in your life, so much has happened in everyone's life. I mean, who knew we would survive a pandemic and go through it? These are the things that you hear about history and that you read in history, history books. Never in my lifetime I thought that that would happen. Now, I took a break because of three things. The first one is because I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Second of all, I closed my business, my well-being and fitness business. And thirdly, I continued helping other businesses to grow and increase revenue. So I continued to do this and just focus on that instead. Firstly, thank you so much for being a subscriber on, on this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it means a lot if you're here, if you've been in, in this journey with me. So I wanted to explain um, because obviously I haven't been in this channel for, I took a, a, quite a, a big gap. And, and I thought I owed you an apology. You have been supporting my channel, you have been supporting me, and, and you needed an explanation. So, what is RA, rheumatoid arthritis? It's a, it's a condition, it's an, an autoimmune condition that causes a lot of inflammation in the joints. So sometimes I have to sit down next to my bed and assess whether I can stand or not. Uh, other times I wake up at three in the morning and I'm not able to and I'm not able to go back to sleep because my shoulders are in pain and sometimes it's several joints my shoulders my wrists my fingers sometimes doing this is difficult so how this affected me obviously it was very very difficult to do fitness tutorials and and I had to take a step back as you know I'm always about how to become better how to improve life so when I was diagnosed with my condition, I started doing stretching exercises to help me. I've been looking at what I eat and my nutrition, what I can have. I found a few things that are very helpful. Turmeric, turmeric, for example, with ginger smoothies are very, very helpful. And a little bit of pep, black pepper helps as well. I have taken some medication when I need it, but it's not something that's just gonna go away. So it's all about managing their condition. Let's have a conversation here. <laughs> Alright, let's get comfy. Okay, so from my business I learned a lot, came up with amazing clients, I had, I was very blessed, I met amazing and brilliant people. I was very blessed that I could help so many amazing people. Now, I also learned so much from that business, from helping other businesses to grow, but the main thing is that I actually discovered what I prefer within a business and and what inspires me. It's not just what I prefer, but what inspires me and it's people, solving problems for people. So business development, business growth, understanding my client, understanding how I can add value and how you can solve problems. So this is why the direction of the channel is changing slightly. I hope you enjoy the new content. It's going to be obviously a personal development. It's one of the things that has been in my life since I was 13 and it will probably be in my life until, or I'll probably be very dedicated to personal development until the day I die. Second of all, confidence. It's a topic that touches my heart because I was very shy and I lacked confidence when I was growing up. So going from a very shy young person that couldn't really have conversations with people. I mean, I remember once I went into an interview for Boots and I didn't get a sales job because I couldn't promote similar products that someone could take on, on holiday. I mean, seriously. So going from that to the person that I am now, I'm not big headed, but I've had a massive personal growth and I'm able to speak to in front of a camera, I'm able to build conversations with people that I don't know, go into a networking event with no problem. I love people and I love that approaching people. It's no longer scary to me. 
So personal development confidence, thought leadership, because I believe that we need to inspire people and we need to be aiming to become very good leaders and there is a difference between a leader and a boss. So we want to be leaders, we don't want to just be someone's manager or someone's boss. We want to be a leader. And marketing, sales and business development, because of what I do, because of what my passion, I, I've noticed that I'm very passionate about this. We're going to be talking about business growth, what increases leads, what increases conversion. Um, we're going to be exploring a little bit about social media. Most importantly, I want to welcome and invite people that are experts in each field so that we learn from them. I will share my opinions and my experience, but we need to bring as many experts as possible, pick the brains and see what we can take from it. So, again, thank you so much for being in my channel. If you are subscribed, I adore you. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please tell me in the comments from these topics, what interests you? What are the things that you're struggling with? Let me know and I will make sure that I focus on those, on those topics. Take care. It's been a blessing. It's been amazing talking to you today and I look forward to seeing your comments.